In the reverted planetary train illustrated, what is the speed and direction of rotation of the arm if gear 2 is unable to rotate and gear 6 is driven at 12 revolutions per minute in the clockwise direction as viewed from the bottom of the figure? This is the third example for the gear trains in Planetary Gear's main video. The links to the previous examples and the main video are in the description below. From that main video, we know that the train value E will be equal to the speed of the last gear minus the arm gear over the first gear minus the arm gear. But the train value E doesn't need to be defined anyways. This fraction on the right is just equal to the speed of the last gear over the speed of the first gear with respect to the arm. And since they're both with respect to the same frame of reference, in this case the arm, that ratio is the same as the speed of the last gear over the speed of the first gear. Additionally, we can define the last and the first gear however we please. If we say that the first gear is gear 2, the last gear would be gear 6. Since the ratio between the speeds is inversely proportional to the number of teeth, and we identify that gear 2 is a driver gear driving gear 4 just like gear 5 is driving gear 6, and 6 is being driven by 5 just like 4 is being driven by 2, we find an expression to solve for the speed of the arm gear. The only value we're missing from this expression is the number of teeth of gear 6. But since we know that the distance between the shafts can be defined in terms of the diameters of gears 2 and 4, or in terms of the diameters of gears 6 and 5, and we know that the diameters are directly proportional to the number of teeth, we find that gear 6 has 34 teeth. Using these values, we solve for the speed of the arm, and either with the mathematical sign or a quick direction analysis, we see that the arm gear, or gear 3, is rotating clockwise as viewed from the bottom of the figure. Thanks for watching.